What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and this one is gonna be a different one. This is the first type of this video that I've done on the channel and that is uh, by a vintage baseball collection. So I mentioned in my last video that someone recently contacted me and asked if I would be interested in uh, you know, going through their sports card collection or potentially purchasing. And this is someone that I've, I've known for a long time, someone uh, from my personal life, they know that I'm into sports cards and I guess they've had these just kind of laying around and they are interested in getting rid of them, seeing what they uh, can bring as far as value. And you know, typically, I'm sure this has probably happened to many of you guys out there as well. Typically when someone asks you if, if you're interested in buying their old sports card collection, you're thinking like late 80s, early 90s, just complete trash. I cannot tell you how many times that has happened, uh, but I said, sure, you know, if you wanna send some pictures, I'll be happy to take a look, see what I can come up with. Uh, I'm not definitely, definitely, you know, not by any means a vintage baseball expert. So I was like, I'm gonna have to do some research, see what I can come up with. So they sent some pictures and I noticed names like Mickey Mantle, um, Hank Aaron, Willie Mays, Nolan Ryan. So, you know, immediately I'm like, okay, these are, these are the names you're looking for. Now, I wasn't sure exactly what time period they were from. He said they were like late 60s, early 70s, which I know is, is decent. Now, really where the, the, the big value is, is gonna be 50s and 60s, uh, but as I, you know, at least thought that late 60s, early 70s would still was still a, a good time period and could potentially have some value. Uh, so I went ahead and looked up, you know, some of the the bigger names, and um, you know, I I knew it was also going to be it was going to depend a lot on condition. So um, you know, I, I hit them back and said, hey, you have some good names here, but I just don't know. You know, the, the value ranges all over the place based on condition. So I really need to see them in hand. Uh, so basically what we decided to do, I did, you know, obviously I have the cards here. I picked them up and, um, you know, we decided to let me come back, do some research, see what I can come up with as far as values and try to determine condition on these. If I wanted to potentially grade some of them, might even do that. And then we'll come to you know, an agreement on price kind of down the road. He's like, you know, whatever you come up with, I'm okay with. These are just basically collecting dust sitting in the house for decades. So um, yeah, I, I and now I'm recording this video. I wanna show you guys the collection. You know, just from what I've been able to come up with, it's nothing crazy. I do think it's, it's a few hundred dollars, maybe potentially, you know, if I were to sell everything as is raw condition, maybe up to like $500. Now, if some of this stuff can grade okay, it could potentially maybe be up to seven, eight, 900, maybe up to a thousand dollars. And that's where I kind of need your guys' help. Um, you know, maybe if there's anything I missed that does have value, please let me know. Um, and, you know, as far as like condition goes, I don't grade a lot of vintage, so my uh, thinking was to send some of the bigger names that was in okay condition to SGC, and that would probably be anywhere from like five to 10 cards. Just send to SGC, super cheap, get them back quick, see what they come up with. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, there are a couple of boxes over here. I, I'm actually gonna set this stuff off to the side real quick. This is the better stuff here. I just wanna go through the boxes super quick. Um, I don't think there's anything crazy in here. I've not gone through them like super in depth and detail. I figured I would just show these on video. And that way if anyone out there is interested in purchasing either of these boxes or both, feel free to contact me and we can probably work out a deal. I think these are pretty much from the same time period, like late 60s, early 70s. So if anyone is interested in these, feel free to hit me up, we can work out a deal. Now I do think these are, most of these are gonna be in pretty rough shape, uh, but I'll just kind of flip through a few so you guys can get an idea of you know what we're looking at. Um, I do think most of the bigger names are in the like uh, binder pages. So just wanna flip through these super quick. If anyone's interested, needs these for, I don't know, a set or whatever, uh, feel free to hit me up. We can work out a deal. I have no idea what, you know, a lot of these, a lot of these probably aren't worth, you know, a lot. So if anyone's interested in both of these boxes, uh, yeah, hit, hit me up. We can uh, work something out. 
feel free to contact me on Instagram uh, or email. So there's a box full of, you know, kind of that, those same cards there. And then we'll set that off to the side and get this other box out as well. So there are some like tall, tall boy uh, basketball cards. Now I'm gonna show you guys some more of these. The, again, the, the better names are picked out. Um, so we do have like Will Chamberlain and I uh, believe maybe Oscar Robertson. I'm not sure. Uh, they're over there in the binder pages. Um, so I just want to show these super, super quick. And then pretty much some similar stuff to the other box. Um, 1969 home run leaders. Uh, it does have Hank Aaron on it. I think there's yeah a couple of those. Reggie Jackson, Johnny Bench. Uh, Fergie Jenkins. So some better names over here. There's Pete Rose. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show these super quick. If anyone's interested, please feel free to hit me up, make an offer. Uh, would like to sell both of these boxes, you know, as is the, the whole thing. I don't want to like pick and choose cards out of there. So if anyone's interested in those entire boxes, let me know. And now let's get back to this stuff again. Um, you know, I'm Looking for you, your guys' help out there. If anyone out there is uh, more knowledgeable than me on vintage baseball, let me know. Um, you know if anything has um, a lot of value that maybe I overlooked. So we have uh, Ted Williams up here. This is the one Mickey Mantle, uh, and you know this this one kind of got me excited. Anytime you see Mickey Mantle, I mean he's he's basically the top name, uh, you know that you're looking for. But as you can see, condition is pretty rough. So. I don't know, my estimation, if I were to send that to SGC, it's probably gonna be like a two or three, just my guess. Again, I don't deal with a lot of vintage baseball, so I'm not too sure. Um, so, and the, the person I did pick this up from, he kind of went through, I think a long time ago, a few years ago, he went through and tried to come up with some values on this stuff. And that is what, I'm gonna sit that, put that back in there, if I can get it in. Actually, I'm gonna leave that out because it's not one to go back in. But anyway, he went through and tried to come up with like some value ranges. So he has like 175 to 350. I'm not sure what the thousand to 2000 is, maybe as like graded or something. Um, and then 50 to 100 would be the, uh, the Willie Mays there. But again, as you can see, that's in pretty rough shape. So got Willie Mays there in the middle, uh, Roberto Clemente over there, Bob Gibson. Uh, Johnny Bench down here. I think that's a Johnny Bench rookie. Then we have Ernie Banks, Brooks Robinson. So some really good names, you know, the, the names that you're really looking for. Uh, but the one that I was actually very surprised about, obviously I've, I know the name, I know Nolan Ryan, <coughs> one of the best uh, pitchers of all time. I wasn't sure, you know, his stuff had the kind of value it does. That's actually a pretty valuable card, a couple hundred dollar card right there. And it, you know, just looking at it from the pictures, I was like, man, the condition actually doesn't look too bad on that one. And he actually came up with like a hundred to $200 range on that one himself. Um, so depending on, you know, what that were to grade, that one could actually be like 500 plus. And honestly, I thought the condition looked pretty good. Uh, corners are fairly sharp, uh, definitely better than some of the others. But unfortunately, I did look at the surface there. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to tell, but like right in there, there's like some gunk or stuff on the card. So I'm not, I'm not really sure what that would, uh, you know, get that to grade. I would guess maybe a four or five. And at that point, I'm not really sure if it's worth sending it to SGC to be graded or just sell it as is. Um, so I guess that's another question for anyone out there. Are these are these few like decent names worth grading if they're gonna get like three to five or should I just try to sell them as is? Um, be interested to know that as well. We got another Pete Rose there in the middle, pretty horrifically off center. Uh, Frank Robinson up there. Uh, let's see some other names that I recognize. Um, there's another Hank Aaron there in the middle. So I'll just kind of go through these pages if anyone, you know, wants to take a look and let me know if, you know, there's something I'm missing. I think the first couple pages had, uh, you know, the most value. There's 20 to 50, 30 to 60 on the Hank Aaron and the Johnny Bench. There's another Johnny Bench up there. Uh, Ernie Banks. 
Bob Gibson. So I'll just kind of show these, these next few pages briefly. And I do, there are some basketball in the back. I do want to show the basketball as well. So I know this is, uh, you know, again, a, a different video. I've never, you know, had the opportunity really to even purchase vintage baseball. So if you guys check this one out, you made it this far, I do appreciate it. Um, at first, when I saw these pictures that he sent me, I got really excited. You know, you see Hank Aaron, Willie Mays, uh, Pete Rose, Mickey Mantle. I was like, oh, wow, he could actually have some really good stuff here. But then, you know, you take a closer look. Condition's not great. It's not, not a lot of rookies. Um, so I'm not 100% sure on a lot of this stuff. So that's why I'm kind of asking for your guys' help. If anyone, you know, has some more knowledge. Uh, let's see, that one says 50 to 100 on the Thurman Munson and Dave McDonald. Um, I'll have to check that one. That's one that I actually haven't checked. So I'm not sure if that value is correct or not. Uh, but now we are getting into some baseball. So we do have, or some basketball, sorry. We have uh, Will Chamberlain. I think that is going to be the highest value card from this particular set. Again, condition is not great. You can see the corner down there is pretty rounded. I'm guessing it would get like a three or four. Uh, we do have Jerry Lucas over there. Um, and then on this one, we do have Wes Unseld, another really good name. Actually, um, Wes Unseld went to my high school, fun fact. Um, so that's a nice one. Another, uh, I guess we got two Jerry Lucases. Um, and then final uh, page here. See if we see any names that I recognize. I uh, don't really think so. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, again, if you made it this far, I do really appreciate it. Uh, if there's something that I didn't mention that you know has some decent value, please let me know. Let me know you know the the you know better like five to ten names. Should I send them to SGC, see what they get, or should I just let them go as is? I would definitely be interested to know that as well. So. That's going to do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you soon.